Hello, my friend. It is Perez, and I am in such a great mood because we are just days away from a holiday weekend, and I've been able to breathe and catch up on a lot of my YouTube viewing, so much so that I'm gonna do another video tomorrow just about YouTube stuff, so be on the lookout for that. But today, I do wanna address Trisha Paytas and her video, which got everybody talking, titled, How David Dobrik and the Vlog Squad Ruined My Life. Let me tell you something. Trisha could have communicated what she did in this video many different ways. She could have done an Instagram Live. She could have sent out a series of tweets. But no, she chose to make a YouTube video and chose a very good headline. Bravos to whomever wrote that headline for her. Or probably her. It's not that hard. It's a really good headline, how David Dobrik and the Vlog Squad ruined my life. Total clickbait. She didn't explain how they ruined her life because they didn't. They only helped her and they continue to help her because she strategically chose to make this video for clout, for money, probably not. It was probably demonetized, but views translates to hopefully people watching more of her videos or subscribing to her channel. So it's a win-win situation. And personally, I am not bothered by the fact that it was a clickbaity title. I actually applaud her for the clickbaity title because it was a good title. It got people's attention and it got me to finally sit down and watch it. She specifically had issue with one of David's vlog squad members, Jeff. And I gotta give her credit. I saw a side of Trisha in this video that I don't think I've seen in a while or possibly ever. The energy that she was giving out was so good. It was so sarcastic and so angry, but not, but not angry in a way that she wasn't entertaining. She was clearly on, it was clearly a job, she was performing, and it was very entertaining. Perhaps the only time that she may have been real, real, was when talking about being hospitalized and I don't even agree with everything that she said in the video, but I still love how she said it, if that makes sense. And it all stemmed from this guy, Jeff, leaving his drink and his sandwich at Starbucks when he saw Trisha there, which is just ridiculous. You could have just not said hi to her. He revealed that bit of info on a podcast and there was a moment where Trisha asked how she wronged her friends, his friends. And I mean, I think it's pretty obvious the many ways that she wronged Jason. She knows the ways that she wronged Jason. First and foremost, dragging his children into her petty drama and the baby mama into it as well. That was awful. That was uncalled for. Of course, she's not gonna remind you of that because it's her video and she wants very pointedly to get her side across. She also should not have made the original video to David, I don't think, because it blew everything up. She could have still been in a happy relationship with Jason. I find it interesting, maybe she's shared this before, but I didn't know that Jason broke up with her, allegedly, according to Trisha, because David told her to. And I think it's quite telling and smart that David Dobrik has his vlog squad members trained. They're not supposed to respond to drama. David doesn't want to be Jake Paul or Logan Paul. He wants to be the cleaner, squeakier, squeaky cleany version of the Paul brothers, which is exactly what he is. Like I said in one of my videos earlier, 
David Dobrik has rebranded in 2019. His content is still for young people, but it's not as edgy as it used to be. There's no dumb jokes about girl on girl behavior or anything like that. So yeah, um, I like that it was a, sh I was actually surprised that this Trisha video was so short. It was what, maybe just 11 minutes long? Maybe it was short because she knew she wasn't gonna be able to monetize it and didn't wanna make a 30, 40 minute long video. But I loved it. In fact, I texted her afterwards. Let me see what I texted her. What, oh, I texted her. I'll show, uh, uh, I'll show, um, yeah, I'll show you. <laughs> I don't care. Uh, no, well, there's people's phone, um, Oh yeah, okay, no, um, no, yeah, can't, no, I can't show you. There's phone numbers on my, well, um, let me see if I can show part of it. Um, uh, I'm afraid I'll show people's phone numbers. I literally texted her four things, five things. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, I texted her a link to her video, Trisha. Then I said this, then I said was, then I said epic. And then I sent a bunch of clapping emojis and she never responded. Typical Trisha. I'm in a really good mood today. The force is with me. The force is with you. All right. Ay, ay, ay. I'm having such a case of deja vu. There has been a lot of controversy, not con, well, not controversy, but backlash, specifically over this one news personality in America who was reporting about Prince George and his school where they require all the pupils there to learn ballet. Good Morning America did a report on it and Lara Spencer said that Prince George will be studying computer programming, poetry, religious studies, and ballet. And then she laughed at that and so did the audience. And Lara Spencer said, Prince William said, George absolutely loves ballet. I have news for you, William. We'll see how long that lasts. Honestly, it was a joke. J Let me break it down for you. Oftentimes, humor is low. Humor goes for the common denominator. Humor is based on stereotypes. I don't think what Lara Spencer said was that bad. However, I'm probably not the person that you should be asking for their opinion about this because I got into a lot of drama last year when I talked about my son in dance class. However, I only said that because of people like Lara Spencer and society. We live in a heteronormative world where even if you're a heterosexual man who is very effeminate or metrosexual, those men will be discriminated against. And that sucks, but I honestly don't see that changing because gay men that I know hello look at look at the gay men that I know that speculate about Sean Mendez they do I do I don't know if he's gay I think he is not based on any information I'm not outing him it's just my feeling I've gotten myself into so much trouble today. Thank you for watching. This may be my last video ever. <laughs> Not really. <laughs> also, thank you to the folks at Canvas 1839 who sent me this fabulous Yeti cooler. I have a Yeti. This is not a plug. I just love the gift and I acknowledge that this is not cheap. I bought my own Yeti and it was like $70 or something like that. So thank you, Canvas1839. And I appreciate you guys advertising on my podcast. 
great segue. On my podcast, I can be wild and uncensored. If you haven't been listening yet or recently or haven't in a while, make sure you check out the Perez Hilton podcast with Chris Booker on Apple Podcasts or directly at PerezPodcast.com. That's the Perez Hilton podcast with Chris Booker on Apple Podcasts or directly at PerezPodcast.com. Mmm. Mmm. Oh. Oh, this is so good. Yeah, I've got my airborne with water and ice cubes and this keeps it nice and cold. Mmm. All right, I've got an update. If you didn't see it, on Friday, I posted a live reaction video, track by track, for Taylor Swift's new album, Lover. The Swifties found it, and the dislikes on my video far outnumbered the likes. And to all those people, I have to say, I listened to the album a second time and I have now listened to the album a third time. And I stand behind almost everything I say, said. I stand behind everything I said. Sure, some songs, a couple of songs I like a little bit better now, like The Man and Cornelia Street, which I wasn't, I mean, I liked The Man when I began, but just the sound, the, the production still. I, I would love to know when each song was recorded because it does feel like so much of it was from the Reputation Sessions. So much of it feels like leftovers, B-sides, the same sound. It's just, just my opinion, you don't have to agree with it. Speaking of Taylor Swift, I love that she has been doing the promo rounds everywhere. She gave a new interview to The Guardian, and this interview of all of the ones that she's been doing recently has gone viral because she talked about Donald Trump. Taylor Swift had this to say about Donald Trump. We're a democracy. At least that's what we're supposed to be. Hold on. Brain fart. In addition to thanking Canvas 1839, I have to thank Abby Broish. Abby Broish and Lillian Arguello and Al Ben. Al Ben, Lillian Arguello and Abby Broish. Broish. I, I, I wish I knew how to say all of these names phonetically. Abby, Lillian, and Al, thank you all for super chatting me recently. You are super duper. Okay, back to Taylor. Taylor Swift had this to say about Donald Trump recently. We're a democracy, at least we're supposed to be. We're, where you're allowed to disagree, dissent, debate. I really think that he thinks this is an autocrat, autocracy. Autocracy. She says about Trump's campaign and election, all the dirtiest tricks in the book were used and it worked and that he is gaslighting the American public into being like, if you hate the president, you hate America. As to why Taylor Swift didn't endorse Hillary Clinton, which she said she would have, or even speak about politics back in 2016, Taylor Swift now says, I was just trying to protect my mental health, not read the news very much, go cast my vote, tell people to vote. I just knew what I could handle and I knew what I couldn't. I was literally about to break. Wow. She was dealing with all the drama with her mom's relapse from cancer and with all of the Kim and Kanye drama and Speaking of drama, what do we got? What do we think about Scooter Braun congratulating Taylor on Friday? Yeah? Okay, good, I agree. No, girl! Scooter should have shut up. Scooter Braun, who bought Taylor's back catalog, which she's not happy about, tweeted the following. Regardless of what has been said, the truth is you don't make big bets unless you are a believer and always have been. Brilliant album with Lover. 
Congrats, Taylor Swift. Supporting was always the healthier option. Hashtag brilliant album. Hashtag brilliant campaign. Congrats. Uh, why should he have not said anything? Because that, I guarantee you, hurt Taylor Swift. She was not happy about that. And she's re-recording her masters! <laughs> oh no. What did I just do? There we go. Sucks that this doesn't light anymore. It used to light up. If anybody from Star Wars or Disney is watching, if you want to send us a new one of these, because I'm cheap, I'm not going to buy a new one, my mailing address is 8506 West 3rd Street, number 101. <laughs> I'm shameless. Los Angeles, California, 90048. That's 8506 West 3rd Street, number 101. Los Angeles, California, 90048. All right. Speaking of Scooter Braun, his client, Justin Bieber, and his wife, Haley Baldwin, are finally marrying... I mean, they're already married. 12 months later, they're gonna have a wedding party. They're gonna get married September the 30th in South Carolina at the Montage Palmetto Bluff Hotel. Which, if you ever visit Los Angeles and you wanna see Justin Bieber, he is at the Montage Beverly Hills hanging out five days a week, at least. I've always seen him there whenever I go to the montage, either for a massage. Well, I haven't gotten a massage there in a while, but I used to get them more regularly. Uh, or for a business meeting or an event or whatever, he's always there. I'm not joking. Google Justin Bieber Montage Hotel. He's always there. All right, from Bieber to Miley Cyrus, an update there. Miley and Liam have agreed that Miley will be keeping all of their pets in their divorce. And there are a lot. Miley has seven dogs, two horses, two mini horses, three cats, and a pig. Miley's got a zoo. I mean, cool, she loves animals. She can afford to have people take care of them. Mm. Oh, gosh. Mm -mm -mm. Oh, wow. Um, in other couples news, speaking of splits, Mel B's ex-husband, Stephen Belafonte, wants his child support payment increased from $5,000 a month. Because $5,000 a month isn't enough for child support? $5,000 a month is more than enough for child support. Let me look at, let me think of the math. Especially like, I would imagine they're either splitting any education costs or Mel B's paying for them all. You know, like the really, that 5,000 a month is more than enough. But shockingly, Mel B's lawyers are lawyering and she claims in court that she is unemployed and actively seeking work and unable to increase the payments. Mel claimed that she makes a monthly salary of $3,700 and only has $83,000 cash in the bank. Most of her money is in real estate. She's got over $5 million worth in property. And that she spends, this is the crazy part, she spends like $120,000 a month. Yeah, that doesn't add up. If I was a lawyer, if I was an attorney, if I was a judge, I'd be mad at the way this attorney was working it. 
Not a good idea. All right, in more couples news, an update, you may have heard that Bethany Frankel is married. This because of a tweet that she sent. However, she did not mean that she's married to her boyfriend. What she meant is she was the only New York housewife that was married because she's still legally married to her ex, Jason Hoppy. All these years later. Ay, ay, ay. All right, speaking of reality TV stars, Karamo Brown has deleted his Twitter. The Queer Eye star is going to be competing in the upcoming season of Dancing with the Stars. And a lot of people in the LGBTQ community and a lot of people in the Black community really took him to task when he recently not just defeated Offended, but praised Sean Spicer, who is also going to be competing on Dancing with the Stars, saying he's a nice guy and blah, 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 blah. And because of all of the feedback and controversy, Karamo deleted his Twitter. I like Karamo, but I didn't know he was so fragile. Boo. We need to strengthen your backbone. Also, according to People Magazine, Lori Loughlin's daughters, um, uh, uh, Olivia Jade and, I forget the other girl's name, I don't know, Amelia, <laughs> she and her sister have been having nights in. They've been laying low. <laughs> People says, Olivia and Bella continue to spend a lot of time with friends. They visit people's houses or have friends over, blah, 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 blah. I don't know why, but... I swear, every freaking Lori Lachlan article does so well on my website. My audience loves Lori Lachlan stories. <laughs> so I talked about it on YouTube, even though that one's not that exciting to me. That story did well. And finally, Disney has announced a bunch of exciting plans. Disney Plus is going to be introducing not just their previously announced titles, which is a lot, but also a Miss Marvel TV show and a She-Hulk TV show. They're coming for the women and the gays. And also Kit Harrington is gonna be joining the Marvel Cinematic Universe. Yes, the Game of Thrones alum, Jon Snow himself will be a part of the MCU. And as I teased at the very beginning of this video, tomorrow, I think you guys are gonna enjoy something different from me. So be on the lookout for that tomorrow. And thank you. If you enjoyed this, make sure you get a, per you can get a video from me for you or for anybody about anything. Get a personalized video greeting from me at starsona.com slash Perez Hilton. That's S-T-A-R-S-O-N-A.com slash Perez Hilton. Make sure you super chat me in this video if you're feeling generous. Throw some coin my way and the force will really be with you. I definitely make sure to shout out everybody who super chats me. Also make sure you got the notifications turned on so that we could live chat during every video premiere daily on both of my channels. Make sure you're following The Perez Hilton as well. Listen to the podcast at PerezPodcast.com. Sign up for my newsletter at PerezNewsletter.com. Follow me on Instagram at the Perez Hilton on Instagram. And of course, make sure that PerezHilton.com is your homepage. <laughs> and you're visiting PerezHilton.com daily throughout the day. I love you. Cheers to you. God bless. To health. To health. Mwah, 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 mwah.